we are down to 9% only with BYD blade battery and this is actually the perfect setup for deep calibration. Now usually taking a battery from this low to full is bad practice with EVs. But this BYD blade battery is different. Its LFP or lithium iron phosphate chemistry is tougher, more resilient and it can handle the 100%. And calibrating the battery outweighs the minor stress of hitting 100%. And the calibration is needed because of the voltage curve. In most EVs, traditionally the voltage drops significantly as the battery drains, allowing the computer to instantly measure the charge level, the state of charge. But this LFP voltage is nearly constant. The reading is almost identical whether you are at 80% or 30%. And since the computer can't rely on the voltage differences, it calculates the range by tracking energy in, energy out, basically. And that's a method that can accumulate small errors over time. And that's exactly why being at 9% here is an opportunity. By charging now uninterrupted to 100%, you force the system to relearn the physical limits from bottom to top. It basically resets the math in the computer of the car. Just plug in immediately, don't let it sit this low. And once you have done this deep calibration, which is recommended every 3 to 6 months, remember to also charge to 100% on a weekly basis, or at least a couple of times a month. This prevents those calculation errors from stacking up again. And ideally, of course, drive the car soon after, rather than letting it sit full. Even though the LFP chemistry is more resilient than the other chemistries, sitting at 100% for long periods of time still causes some unnecessary aging. So if you are low, don't worry, plug it in, hit 100% and try with confidence.